Researchers collected traffic data over a three-day period on both Interstate 35 and State Highway 130 Toll Road in the Austin area between Georgetown and Buda. The map segment shows the IH-35 and SH-130 corridor segments in blue. They looked at volume and vehicle type to come up with an average number in thousands per day. A comparative visual depiction of the data is shown here. The traffic profiles of each are shown in the multicolored stacked bar graphic. The numbers shown in the horizontal bar across the top and on the left of the thick gray dividing line represent the 226,000 vehicles on average that traveled along I-35 each day. And to the right, we can see the SH-130 toll road, which is a lot fewer vehicles per day at close to 40,000. Note that the traffic increases as you get closer to downtown. Traffic is measured in thousands of vehicles per day. Through traffic is defined as vehicle trips that travel the entire length of the facility from Georgetown to Buda or vice versa within a 24-hour period. Let's take a closer look at I-35. The light green segment represents the amount of passenger vehicles traveling all the way through the IH-35 corridor without stopping. Since these cars are traveling all the way through the area, some portion of these could be candidates for diverting to SH-130. The light yellow and light purple bands are the commercial and light through trucks that could also be candidates for 130. The dark green area represents passenger vehicles that are traveling locally, meaning they are exiting somewhere in town. The same is true for the dark purple and orange bars. These are the heavy and light trucks that are traveling locally within the Austin area to a destination along I-35. Local trips in passenger vehicles are responsible for most of the traffic on I-35. Even heavy trucks traveling locally, shown in orange, are only a small portion of the traffic. The light trucks traveling locally account for a small percentage of the total traffic as well. When we compare the local vehicles traveling in the area with those traveling through the area, we can see that those through trips are a very small percentage. Heavy and light trucks passing all the way through Austin on I-35 are represented by the thin yellow and lavender lines. And of the over 200,000 total vehicles using I-35 at Breaker Lane, only 14% are traveling all the way through without stopping, as shown by the smaller light green area. Overall, through trucks constitute only 1% of the total volume on I-35 for the highest volume segment between US-290 and Breaker Lane. Now let's look at the traffic on SH-130. We already know that it is a small fraction of the vehicles that travel on I-35. Again, the light green, lavender, and yellow represent the cars and trucks that are traveling through the region without a stop. The dark green, the purple, and the orange are cars and trucks and 18-wheelers that are traveling locally through the region, but they are doing it on SH-130. When we compare traffic on I-35 and SH-130, we notice that there is considerably more traffic moving on I-35 and most of it is local traffic. This makes sense. I-35 is a direct route through the area. Numerous businesses are located along the route and it has more lanes than SH-130. There are, in fact, a lot of big trucks on our highways every day. So, simple appearances and the perceptions of many travelers would seem to suggest that large trucks are a primary cause for traffic congestion on I-35 in Austin. This detailed analysis demonstrates how that's not the case. It may be a good idea to rethink how to increase the use of SH-130 in order to alleviate some IH-35 congestion, targeting not just large trucks, but also passenger vehicles.